Elemental Challenge, starting from the periodic table, episode 17. A Mericium? A radioactive element? Exactly. It's even more radioactive than uranium. <gasps> and it's closer to you than you think. <gasps> where? Where? Don't panic. Today, we'll learn about it. Friendly reminder, this is a professional experiment. Do not try this. You definitely know this thing. The smoke detector above your head. It has a component that contains radioactive americium 241. What? No way! If that's radioactive, how am I still alive? Let's check with a Geiger counter. See the radiation levels increase. Look, the ambient radiation is less than 0.2. But when you bring it close to this component... I'm gonna hit the laundry. Hey, don't worry. The amount of americium in there is tiny, and it's protected by a metal shield, so it's not harmful. But why would something so dangerous be in a smoke detector? Dangerous? It's the opposite. That's exactly how it protects us. Let me show you this experiment and you'll understand. With this cloud chamber, we can actually see americium's radiation. Really? Yep. Put the americium inside and turn on the power. The chamber will produce supersaturated ethanol vapor at the bottom. Supersaturated ethanol vapor when americium emits charged particles. It emits charged particles, it iodizes the gas molecules in its path. The supersaturated vapor condenses around these ions, forming droplets that make the radiation tracks visible. Look, each white line represents ionizing radiation. Looks pretty, but what does this have to do with smoke detectors? Smoke detectors use this radiation to ionize air, creating a current. If smoke blocks the radiation, the detector triggers an alarm for warning. Who would have thought something so dangerous is actually protecting us? Exactly. While being conscious of radiation hazards, we should also remember how they benefit us every day. What will we hit next time?